guys, Cami here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a favorites video. If you do enjoy my content and if you want to see more of me, please subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. I will be doing a seasonal favorites and I missed summer so now we're at the fall favorites. I'm just going to be showing you guys what I've been loving during fall. We'll be starting out with some makeup favorites because I have been loving quite a few things more than usual and a lot of them are lip products. I would like to mention the Rimmel eyeshadows that I've been just really loving. The packaging is you know kind of drugstore-ish if you haven't seen my last video which is like a drugstore haul. I bought these and have been loving these colors and I mentioned I really love this color theme right here which is more earthy tones and more um, geared towards fall. One more favorites I have is this like really fine glitter um, stuff and I know you're gonna say this is not really like makeup stuff this is more of crafting I actually got this from Michael. A lot of pink glitter and has some like blue flexes on them and I've been just really loving putting these on my cheeks not even just for fall I've been loving it year round honestly just adds a little bit of oomph to your look and makes it a little bit more cuter and also again from my last video I mentioned about this Maybelline Fit Me concealer I rekindled my love for this and I have been buying this a lot and have been using it a whole lot for just everyday makeup and I forgot why I stopped using this. Okay, now on to my lip stuff. Um, I have been loving the Tarte Holiday Collection with, I don't know, it doesn't have a name but it's the one that has like more tropical vibes at the top. Like there's a gloss section right here and then, no, this is the gloss. This is the gloss and then this is the lipsticks where you can just kind of see what it looks like it's more of like the nude stuff and it doesn't have a lot of product on it honestly and i forgot to mention that last time when i showed you guys my birthday haul it doesn't have a lot of lipstick in there um but i feel like it'll take me a while to go through these hopefully like this one is my favorite color because it's just a really fall dark nude and I wear it a lot and I remember during that time I also showed you guys my Too Faced Tutti Frutti it's more of like an impulse buy it's the fruitcake color and this is the one that comes in a holiday set uh, let me see if I have it it comes in this holiday set and I specifically bought it because of this color and I have been using it a lot it's more of like a gloss feel a little bit sticky in my opinion like a little bit more than what I'd like it to be but it stays on for a while the last lip and makeup product I have in this favorites is the Jeffree Star Velour lipstick in the shade Rose Matter and it is just a pretty pink color almost kind of like in the nude side this is what it looks like I really love this packaging it's very unique and I love the foiling I love anything that has like gold well in this case it's like rose gold foiling I really love anything that has that little slight touch or glitter um yeah so i got this and uh it's almost like it's making a dent i've been using it a lot i'm using it right now i really like how it looks and it just brightens up my face a lot when i do my makeup his liquid lipstick has a really nice formula like it doesn't cross it doesn't feel heavy at all but i really love his formula so does a lot of people from what i've heard so i did order something from his holiday collection i ordered only one i tried to stop myself and limit myself to one thing i didn't get the alien palette because They do look nice, uh, it's just not a color scheme that's kind of speaking to me. I'm glad that he started doing um, cold, cool tones for people that love him or more experimental to makeup. But for a person like me, I'm more interested on getting the blood sugar palette, which is always out of stock when I have the money for it. So that's the only thing. I've been wanting to get my hands on it, but it's just always out of stock. All right, so that concludes the makeup section of this video. But the next one is my fashion favorites, 
which also doesn't have a lot in it but we'll just go with it i love watches so much but i don't go for really expensive ones the most expensive one i'll probably get is 20 dollars. i am a cheap bitch um but yeah i got this watch really nude it goes well with everything and it's like bedazzled and glittered and i just really love it it's like glittered inside as well i don't know if you can tell it's more of glary than glittery but it's really nice it's like rose gold and i just really love the detailing and i don't care if a watch works or not i honestly don't use it for the purpose of looking for time i just want it to accessorize and to not make my wrist look so skinny because my face is pudgy but my wrist is really skinny and i really don't like it about myself i used to be really really skinny i was under 100 pounds and now i'm 120 but before i was really really skinny so i'd always wear like hair ties when i couldn't afford watches but now that i did like two, three years ago i keep buying watches and i just love to accessorize with them and i bought this and it came with a set of um it started out to be a bracelet and when i opened it it looked like you can make it into a choker and that's what i wore on my other video it's the choker i'm wearing and it's also bedazzled and glittered so it started getting chilly about a few weeks ago and really wet it just started raining every day today's the first day that there's sun outside which i'm really happy about but it's freezing cold um but i got this scarf and i really love it it's just like a knitted scarf i mean everybody has knitted scarves but it just adds a lot of detail a really plain white one just goes well with my wardrobe and i've been using this quite a few times and i have this leggings and you're gonna say you know everybody has leggings but the inside of this one is really thick really mm, there's hair but yeah it's just really nice and it like makes my you know my butt area look really nice honestly i you know i think it complements my figure really well even if i wear like a loose shirt with this so i got this at target a few months ago so i don't even know if they still have it it was i know it was below 20 dollars for sure but i don't exactly know because i didn't even think i'd love it i just wanted to buy some leggings and i was gonna actually return it because this wasn't the one i was looking for and then i just started using this and i was like oh, it's really warm and it just like it has a high high top like this is like the crotch area and the high top right here where it kind of like hides your belly so that's really nice and just really comfortable i really love wearing this if i could have four more of these i'll be good and some of the shirts i've been loving um surprisingly there isn't anything pink in here but i just have two actually this one i wore on my birthday haul um video but it's a crop top and i think somebody asked me where i got it from and i got it from forever 21 it's like a turtleneck type crop top and the mustard yellow kind of gives the fall vibes i really love that even though it's not pink and i got the sweater not like a light sweater, not too heavy. From um, Kohl's. I got this from Kohl's. It was like 18 something. Um, it's like knitted and nice and warm. It's a little bit too big for my liking, but I'm just dealing with it because I don't have a lot of sweaters. Especially, I went out of my way and didn't buy the pink one or the white one because I'm like, I need a little bit more color in my wardrobe. But then I regretted it because I'm like, I really wanted the pink one but this one wasn't too bad i really love the detailing um i got this in a size small so even the small one was really kind of big for me okay we're down with the random favorites of this video and i have a lot of random favorites let's start with let's start with something i made a whole video about which is the diva gun i mean it's amazing it's accurate i made a whole video about it if you want to check it out up there or up there i don't even know but i made a whole video about this now um and i just really love it it's so nice and i'm gonna shut up about it because i already talked about this way too much already and i don't even have diva's cosplay her her classic skin 
yeah i've been loving that i have been also loving this yoshi blush that you saw in my awa haul again he's at the top of my palette stain shelf and he just adds a really great touch i really love how pastel and cute he is he's just my baby and i really love him and i just can't hug him at night though because his nose is too big but he's the cutest Okay, so I dropped her, but I have been really loving this Madoka figure. I've been putting this around everywhere in my room, and I've been just trying to find the perfect place for her, but she is so fabulous. I've been loving her so much. I really love her pumps. Her whole outfit just speaks to me, and I want to cosplay this so much. It's just everywhere I look. They're so expensive, and if they're not, they're just really crappy looking. So I just really want to be careful if I have the money, I'll have this um, commission to somebody that can make it for me. But again, I just don't have that much money to throw into a cosplay. But she is so fabulous. She's just every magical girl's dream after, of course, card Cardcaptor Sakura, which I have yet to cosplay again. Damn it. Next thing I've been loving is this black backpack. I have a similar backpack like this more florally tropical looking pink of course that I got from Kohl's and I'm like transitioning into fall and winter I kind of wanted something because I was bringing it to work I wanted something that doesn't like have flowers on them like big flowers I'm fine with small flowers like this top but the big ones that was on my backpack wasn't really speaking to me so I was like, I need a black or kind of like a neutral backpack. So I went to TJ Maxx and I got this and it was on clearance for $19. I don't know how much the regular price was, but I know it was $19. But I just wanted to find a small backpack that I could carry and put on my scooter that it won't be like too overwhelmingly big and just carry all my junk inside. So I have been loving this coffee cup as well. I've been using it almost every day and I got it from the store at home and it just has a lot of, we went there for Christmas trees and looking at Christmas stuff but I found this mug and I really want to collect more pinkish mugs and more like Disney related mugs. So this is the start. It has, of course, rose gold foiling. I love that detail so much. More glitters as I said earlier in this video. But yeah, I just really love it and it's a big cup. I can't even fill it with how much coffee I drink. Normally I do like 10 something on my Keurig but it doesn't even fill it up. It's just a big big cup. So I just really love acrylic um, organizers a lot. They just add like a subtle vibe to your desk or your makeup stuff but still organizes your stuff so i got this one from amazon and i believe this was a little bit more expensive than i wanted, wanted to pay it was like 15 something i will try to find it and link it down below as far as all of these stuff i'll try to find them and link them as much as i can down below but i just use it to hold my crayola markers that i just use for planning and for schoolwork and it just holds a lot of pens and a lot of my crap and it's just keeping them organized and not cluttered at all this used to be organized by color but i just kind of gave up i used to use my copic markers to do my planning but i'm like that's too expensive i also got this um what's this called pastel gel pens yeah pastel gel pens from hobby lobby this was 9.99 and they had a sale 50 percent off so i grabbed this one and it's just in a nice container and it just holds all of them in place but it's very pigmented and again i just use this for my planners so relating to planners and organizational stuff i have a couple of notebooks here that i have been using and loving a lot and each of these notebooks have their purpose i have one two three four five six notebooks here and the very first one is my planner it's just the planner that you get from from michael's and I'm almost done with it so it's really satisfying when you get done with a planner and you just put it away and just have more of these memories because I'm normally like a planner journalist I put what happened to my day and of course what you do with a planner is just jot down your stuff so yeah I have this unicorn one I'm not really a fan of the design when I bought this but more of the template inside it 
just really loved what it looked like. The other notebooks I have is this one. I got this from HomeSense. Um, this is just my YouTube notebook. I just put down everything that I want to do YouTube stuff with, you know. Yeah. And then this one, I got this one from Walmart. This one has all my budget stuff. Like I keep what I make um, kind of like this. Like I jot down everything that I spent on and I jot down my bills for that week. Well, I get paid bi-weekly, so that two weeks I put it there. And what I have to pay for and what I, what I spent on my savings, everything. I just keep it all in here. And this one is for groceries. I kind of make it to where this is the shopping list and this is the meal plan for the week. And this one is my planner for school. Like every time I get done with a task, because I wrote down everything that's to do. So I just kind of write them down and just catch them off whenever I'm done with them. It's very satisfying. And the last one I just recently got from my sister. I don't know where she got this from. But this one is kind of like my day off productive notebook. I wrote down what I needed to get done. And I just write down and just make a checklist. Because you can just put that on your planner. But honestly, there's not enough room in my planner when... <clears throat> There's not enough room in my planner on my days off because I just plan so much that I want to do because I try to be as productive as possible on my days off. And also, I've been really getting into my drawings again. So I put that here too. I just have a lot of notebooks for different things. So if you're not into that, you think that's too excessive, I get it. It is a lot. I'm a bit of a neat freak. <laughs> I like things organized and categorized. For some reason, I actually made two more Instagram accounts because I just want everything organized for some reason. So I will put those Instagram links down below if you want to check them out. Speaking of drawing, I have been loving my iPad Pro a lot and my Apple Pencil. I bought this about three years ago and I haven't touched it for a good two years. And I actually thought about selling it. Somebody rekindled my love for art and her name is catnip illustrations and she's just absolute gold like her videos is really nice her studio is so much like something i'm aiming for um her art kind of made me think like not because her art is terrible her art kind of made me think that you don't really have to have really pristine looking art because that's what i was working for i'm trying to like do a lot of anatomy stuff and i'm like yeah you need your fundamentals but she was just enjoying her art and whatever it came out to be it's not perfect it's not refined so much it's so much so cute and i'm like that's my style i like cuteness i'm not copying her style she has like a more watercolorish type and i have a more um let me show you one i did an art of spyro because it just released yesterday and I did this art, if you can see it, I'll just put it on over here, but yeah. She just inspired me to like not pressure myself. Her style is more minimalist and just cute. So she is part of my favorites. I have been watching her a whole lot. Just watching her studio vlogs over and over and over just keep me inspired. And she is, her, her character is just so nice. I'm loving about this a lot. Okay, so more of the software favorites. I have been loving Procreate. Of course, that's where I draw my stuff. Before I mention any of these apps or or people, um, they're not they're not sponsoring me or telling me to do this. I'm not sponsored by any means. I just want to tell you guys what I've been loving and what I've been really into, which is also this app called Shopkick. I'm pretty sure you guys know about it, but it's where you. It's just this app you download on your phone and you get gift cards if you scan stuff in certain stores they have or if you go into a certain store you get this shop kit points um and then you kind of accumulate it into like a thousand and two hundred shop kit coins you get five dollars on gift cards on a lot of things i've been using that a whole lot i get points and free gift cards and one more app that i've been really loving is called better here's the logo boy it's called better um 
it's what I use to be on top of my Instagrams lately because I said I have four. It's an app where you schedule your um your posts at a certain time so you can be um you can schedule it all in one day to distribute throughout the whole week. It keeps you a little bit more consistent. There's a monthly payment for it. Don't don't do it. It's only if you want to schedule your stories. You can do the monthly thing if you want, but to schedule posts, you don't have to do the monthly payments. Those are free and you can have as many accounts as you want linked there. I've only been trying out for a good three weeks now, but I've been loving it and it has been helping me a whole lot. So that kind of sums up all of my favorites. I think that's all of them. <laughs> I had more than I thought, honestly, and I'm parched. So if you guys, again, enjoy my content and want to see more of me, you can follow me on all my Instagram accounts. Thank you so much for watching my video and if you made it this far, you're a real pro. So I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!